Uh, welcome everybody to our December Baller of the Month interview. I'm here with Jack Gerling. For those that don't know me, I am Rebecca Nguyen. I am the uh, NCDA Board of Directors, Director of Female Engagement. And I am also an assistant coach for Michigan State Club Dodgeball, where I get the honor of coaching Jack. So even though I know a lot about Jack personally, I'm gonna let Jack go ahead and introduce himself. Hi, I'm Jack. Uh, I've been playing dodgeball for Michigan State for, this was, This is my third year because of COVID. And then um, I'm gonna graduate this spring um, with a mechanical engineering degree. So yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, as some of you may know, Jack is currently an assistant captain for Michigan State, and he's been really helping lead this powerhouse program. But obviously, everybody had to start somewhere. So we kind of wanted to see, Jack, who really was or is someone you looked up to within MSU's program? Um, one person I definitely think I modeled some of my game around was Dennis, especially coming in freshman year. He was uh, one of the captains at the time. And he really had a, a solid game, I would say. Like, he didn't have a weakness. And it, it really helped because he was a good coach for all the new guys, especially. Uh, how do you feel like you tried to model yourself after Dennis? He especially was very confident and, like, really good when um, there was around six people left on each team. He really knew kind of how to use the clock and use it to his advantage and definitely – get the other team out very efficiently and effectively. Yeah, Dennis is arguably one of the for the Spartans. Uh, we definitely miss him, but I have to replace him, even though it's a little bit different on the court. Now, with MSU in general, they're off to arguably their hottest start in program history. Uh, coming off of losing all of that playing time and all of your leaders from the pandemic, how do you think you've helped shape MSU into the powerhouse it currently is? I definitely think uh, our team has very good chemistry, and that starts at the top, and it works its way down to the bottom. So we're a really tight-knit group, I feel like, and we just have a very good communication on and off the court, which really helps. And we have great leaders that I think push all of that. Yeah, I can agree. I think leadership and communication is a really big thing for us in general. Um, now, on a personal level, what improvements have you seen from the Spartan team so far this season and yourself? Um, definitely our rookies. They've been stepping up big time. We have a, a good class coming in this year. I think probably the best in the country, which really helps our team even grow to more heights than we did last year. So I think going forward, we're looking really well, and I hope that we keep improving. And with me, I just keep trying to get better every day and keep trying to be a leader for all the, the new guys that are learning and still trying to get better as well. I think anybody that's watched Michigan State play so far this season has known that you are probably the best left corner in the game right now. Um, it's really almost like methodical watching you play. And it's, I hope people are starting to, you know, watch and take your name into account and, you know, recognize who you are, because if they don't, it's going to be a problem. Um, now, going into spring semester, you know, we're in the break right now. What tournament do you feel like you're most excited to play in the spring? Uh, definitely MDC. Coming from last year, how we had that comeback win against Grand Valley. I think uh, that's the one tournament that we're all kind of looking forward to this year again. Obviously, nationals, but... Tournament-wise, I think MEC is the big one for us, and we want to get our second win there. So, Yeah, and that was a huge game last year. Um, for anybody that didn't know or was new to the league this year, MSU was down 3 nothing at halftime to Grand Valley and ended up tying it up with less than a minute left or a little over a minute left in gameplay around that were, and won 4-3. Yeah, I think we got the we won the last point with under like twenty seconds left, I believe. Okay. Yeah. It was it was down to the wire and then yeah. they ended up closing it out in overtime. And that was the Spartans first MDC win in seventeen years. So they're looking to keep the trophy in East Lansing yeah. come February. Um now based off of recognitions and awards and everything too, um you went from number five on the all rookie list your freshman year 
to being voted number two overall as an All-American last season in uh, the NCDA. Do you have any personal goals or expectations for your final season here? I really, I just, playing that well last year, I think the only thing I'm expecting is to be better because I get more time playing. And so I, I hope that I can improve on my gameplay as well as help lead this team to the national championship because I feel like we fell short last year. And that's probably my main goal is to get us that trophy at the end of the year. I love it. The team mentality instead of the self mentality. Um, with that too, COVID obviously, like we said earlier, had cut your collegiate career short. Um, and this is only your second nationals, but it's also your last. And now that that spring semester is finally here, what's your mentality going into these final few months? Um, just keep grinding, keep getting better. Um, keep helping everyone else get better because the, the best thing we could do is build that chemistry and build everyone else up because you can't win dodgeball just single-handedly. So I think it's very important for us as a team to keep striving, striving for that championship. Of course, yeah. And Nationals is April 15th and 16th at Ohio University. So Spartans are definitely going to be there. Um, I just have a quick question for you that I wanted to throw out there. Who do you think the final four would be come Nationals if you had to get take a guess right now? Oh, um, well, I'm going to put us there, obviously. Um, I think JMU will definitely be back. Uh, they seem very hungry this year. I got to go Ohio and then probably Grand Valley. I think they're going to get better. And I know they have returning players, so they're going to find a way like they always do. All right, so that's us for Michigan State, JMU, Grand Valley, and Ohio for the final four as a take here. Now, one thing they always ask the Ballers of the Month, I got to go with here, do you have any pre- or post-tourney go-to meals or snacks? Um, Pre-tourney, I don't necessarily eat much. I usually try to eat a banana. Um, it has good potassium, so it, you don't cramp as much, and uh, it's kind of a, a lighter food because you don't want to eat a bunch before you play. And then Post game, really, I'm just starving. So it's whatever I get my hands on first because uh, I don't really eat much during the day. So that usually changes depending on where I'm at and what we're doing. That's fair. That's fair. All right. And one last one for you. Do you have any, like, hype songs that you have to listen to getting ready for a tournament? Uh, I actually – I don't listen to any music before tournaments. I just – uh. I don't know, I, I kind of just, I, don't, I honestly don't have an answer. I just don't do it. I'm not sure how to you just focus, explain it. dial it. Yeah, yeah dial it. All right. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jack, for talking with us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you. The Spartans' first tournament for the spring so far is set to be MDC, which is February 18th in East Lansing. All right. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Pleasure.